in today's video. Last week we had a lot of rain, and as soon as it stopped, I went straight to a small hill trail, and it didn't take long to start finding my first Odontoponera queens. I always carry my trusty insect aspirator and spare plastic test tubes on my backpack, precisely for these situations, because you never know when you'll find some treasure. And you know what Franklin said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. The same day, as I was coming back to work after for the afternoon shift, I spotted some Invicta Queens running around the airport perimeter. The airports are normally the major entry points for your invasive species, and here it's not different. A mix of paved and grassy areas, very well sunlit, perfect conditions for these Solenopsis Queens. While I was recording, I noticed many of them were digging together. There was a particular hole with six or seven queens. At that moment, I decided I was going to make the largest Solenopsis Invicta founding chamber ever recorded. In the end of the day, I had caught nine Odontoponera queens. And while I was building their new nests, I kept them all together. Although with no signs of any aggression, some of the new queens were clearly intimidated, always keeping their antennae recoiled. In the end, I separated them into three different nests, a four queen, a three queen, and a two queen chamber. In the following weeks, I will update you on their progress. As for my Fire Ant's evil master plan, things were looking very good. I caught so many queens. I placed them all inside the same closed chamber, and they also seem to accept each other very well. For now, that is. The next day. On the following day, I could already see some eggs. Let's see how this massive chamber will do in the next 25 to 30 days, period that they normally take to get to their first workers. Thank you for watching and see you all on the next video. Happy Easter everybody!